Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Now in this one we'll be taking a look at unbricking the pine phone. So in particular if you messed up something on the um, internal storage you can follow this guide along and you should be back to having a like a working internal storage basically. <laughs> so with the pine phone you can have either um, like a 32 gigabyte internal EMC storage or you can flash using the you can boot using the SD card and if you mess up something on the internal storage basically your phone won't boot into that internal storage but it will still work with uh, the SD card so that's kind of the trick that we're going to use today to fix it. So you may, may be wondering like how you can brick a, um, the EMC or whatever. And basically what happened to me was I didn't use this phone for ages. And so I like around for two months maybe. So then when I came back to it, I updated everything. And then obviously there was a lot of updates. So it kind of broke the install. So I couldn't boot back into it. And so what I ended up doing was just installing a fresh uh, operating system to the internal storage, which I'll show you how to do today. It's actually pretty simple, so there's nothing to be afraid of. So first thing what we want to do is we want to head over to this website here. Uh, let me just grab a link. So we're going to be downloading a jump drive. So this is what we're going to use to fix. So I'll leave this link in the description of the video. So just go to that and um, download this here, the Pine64 Pine phone image. And there is also a Pine phone charging image. Uh, I tried that one first actually, but it didn't work. So just use the normal kind of Pine phone image. So once you downloaded that, so if you have a compressed version, uh, you'll need to uncompress it before you do anything. So what I recommend doing is using a tool called pigs. So I'll just make my screen here bigger. So it'll basically look like this, pxz, and then decompress, and you would want the Pine64 image, and this will be like xz, and you also want to specify the name, so that will just be the image. So press enter on that, and it will run. Uh, if you don't have pigs installed, just do a sudo Pacman s pigs and off you pop. All right, so after you decompress this image, you'll see a Pine64 that image. And so what you wanna do now is you wanna uh, grab an SD card. So just kind of any SD card will do. Um, I actually have a one gigabyte SD card here that I'll use for this since I don't use it for, since I don't use it for uh, anything else. So since this image is like 50 megabytes or something, it's all good. So yeah, uh, before you start uh, flashing, yeah, so just type in this, uh, F this scale, and then you'll have all your kind of devices here. So make sure you remember which ones um, are listed here. And then what you want to do is plug in your USB stick. And then run the device again, or run the command again. And you will see that there is a dev so you'll see that there is a new device here at the bottom, basically. Well, for you, it might not be at the bottom, but just make sure that 
the output of this is different. And as you can see here, it says that this device is 971 megabytes. So I know that this is the correct one. And as you can see, I already have it here, but I'll just do it again to show you guys how it's done. So now what we wanna do is we wanna flash the image, this image, oops, I did not mean to mount it. Uh, oh well, whatever. <laughs> So we want to flash that image and we're going to use uh, DD for that. So, so yeah, by the way, uh, do s is the same thing as sudo. Well, not the same thing, but it's like basically does the same thing pretty much. So what you want to do is DD um, if, so this will be the name of the image. You can just press tab to complete and then of, oops, of, and then this is where the name is important. So we want to do this device here. So that is SDF. And then just uh, press enter. And this will take a little bit of time. Yeah, there we go. So just leave the command running. It'll take like 15 seconds around since it's only a small bit of data. And then what you want to do is just uh, plug out the USB from your computer and plug it into the Pine phone like so, like how you normally do it. Uh, put in the battery and the cover and then grab a USB-C uh, cable and make sure the other end of this is connected to your computer and then plug this in and since it's getting power the pine phone should turn on straight away and you should see this so right now we are inside jump drive and on your computer you should see something like this pop up if you don't it doesn't matter you can just do a F disk L again, and you should see a new device here. So it will look like this, uh, 30 gigabytes, SDF, make sure you take a note of that. And then this SDG is actually the SD card. <laughs> so you can still access it. Um, but yeah, this is what we're gonna be focusing on. All right, so next what you want to do is just download any OS that you want. Um, if you want to download like the official kind of Pine Phone Manjaro OS, just go to uh, this link here. So click on repositories and uh, this will give you a list of all the Manjaro operating systems. Um, at the moment I'm using Plasma Mobile, but you can use uh, Posh or uh, Lomiri. Um, this one's kind of still in early stages, so I recommend you stick with either Plasma or Posh. Uh, Plasma is based off uh, KDE, well it is sort of KDE, and then Posh is like sort of GNOME pretty much. So. Uh, this one has a little bit of nicer UI, so I'm experimenting with this one at the moment. And uh, so yeah, just go into here, go into releases here, and then just download uh, whatever you want. So yeah, this one here would be the one, it's one, 1. 1.2 gigs. So once you downloaded that, uh, I have it here. What you wanna do is you wanna extract it. So do the same thing with the pigs. Oops. Oops, pigs, yeah, so. Yeah, so I actually have the command here. <laughs> so yeah, just uh, do the all right, so yeah, just extract this. This will take a while because um, the ending image is like six gigabytes, so <laughs> I won't do it here in this video anyway. 
All right, so anyway, once you extracted that, what you want to do is you want to run this big dd command here, like so. Oops, what the hell happened there? All right, so yeah, it should look like this, and uh, make sure you take care of this. So SDF for me, for you, will be probably different. And this will take ages, um, like 20 minutes or something like that. So sometimes uh, a DD looks like it's stuck at the very end. So you'll see that like six gigabytes is copied, but it's still doing nothing. So for that, you can do uh, IO top. This will basically show all of the IO input output from your disk. And if you still see a DD doing stuff here at the top, so usually it'll be like 99% IO DD. And um, so just wait for that to go away to make sure that you can remove the disk or that you can like safely exit. Because what happens is the OS like caches writes to disk. And so DD just kind of makes sure that the cache is written fully. So once uh, this is written fully, uh, you can just simply uh, unplug the phone, like so, turn it off by holding the power button. And then remove the SD card. I then put the battery back in and the cover and then just turn it on as you normally would and it will boot up just fine. So that's a nice quick and easy way to um, unbrick your phone and you can also using this method you can install um, any operating system you want to internal storage as well. So it's pretty cool. You don't have to like stick with Manjaro or whatever. So yeah, that's that. Uh, thanks for watching and bye bye.